Hi everyone, welcome back to What's Sewing On. Today I'm going to try to make my very own detachable petticoat. Most of my wardrobe consists of skirts and long dresses, but you don't always get the volume or the floof that you want. So I want to make a petticoat that's not too floofy, but a little bit and maybe give it the option to become really floofy. So I want to make a detachable one where I don't have two separate items. I just have something that I can either take on or put back on to make the length that I want. I am kind of worried that the detachable part might not blend well with the skirt. I have no idea. I've looked around online and I haven't really found anything like it. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right spots. So I think I'm gonna have to create something on my own, which is completely fine because it kind of gives you that freedom to do what you want. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And if it does, awesome. I don't have the fabric yet. I'm gonna head out in a little bit and I'm going to go to a thrift store and see if I can find anything that will work. I have a couple different ideas for a couple different types of material. So I think I'll be able to make something out of whatever I find. At least I hope I find something because if not, I'm going to be scrounging to find something else to do. I'm gonna head out and hopefully come back successful. Wish me luck. So I found, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. The thrifting gods were definitely on my side. I found mosquito netting, like outdoor, well, obviously outdoor, but like the big tent thing. And I don't, it's softer than like tool, but it's, I think it's going to work. I hope it's going to work. I'm going to get home, show you guys a quick sketch of what I mean. And I'm so excited to start cutting this, but also so nervous because there's so much netting. Anyways. All right. Okay. So that's not what I was expecting to find or use. It wasn't even in my radar of something to look for. So all of my ideas that I had for this petticoat have now been thrown out the window because it's not what I was expecting. But I think it might work. I have no idea, but I'm really excited to try it. So I'm going to draw out a quick sketch. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about and then I'm going to start cutting. Approximately 10 hours later. Just kidding, I can't draw. So basically what I want to do is make a skirt with a detachable base. So my first layer of my skirt is going to be the full length and then I'm going to cut it off at knee length. Then I'm going to use the top pattern to make another pattern. So I will have a double layer of the top and I'll have a single layer of the bottom. And then I'm just going to add a bunch of gathered floof on the base of this one and on the base of this one. I'm going to attach it together with snaps. What I think I'm going to do with all of this is lay it all flat cut out two of my skirt panels, one longer than the other for the detachable base. And then I'm going to cut up as much as I can into strips to sew it on to make the skirt floofy. Like your tail. So I'm going to use my skirt pattern that I made myself a few weeks ago. I know I've been using this skirt pattern a lot, but I really like the length and the style of the skirt. And it's something that I think I'm going to make quite a few of. So this petticoat will probably go under a few of those dresses. So I want to make sure that they kind of match. bottom of the tent and started cutting it to strips that were between four and seven inches wide. So when I was layering them, they would somewhat lay evenly. Oh, 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 oh,
gathering, I laid and pinned the first layer on the bottom of the skirt and then I pinned it upside down so when I sewed it down and the frill is flipped over, it hangs over itself, giving it more volume. <laughs> repeating the layering until you have the floof you want. Mine was four layers. Call him squishy and he shall be mine. So I think that will be good for the first panel of the skirt. Now I'm going to work on this under panel. Basically, I've just have this whole pile of like scraps that I've gathered, and now I'm just going to piece them together on top of this and make it as poofy as I can. And then we're going to attach the snaps so it can go together on the bottom. You're a lion. Wow. You're so sweet. For the waistband, I cut the length of my waist measurement plus seam allowances, and it's four inches wide. Then I folded over both short edges, then folding over and sewing down both outside edges. Flip it completely in half, sew right sides together to the top of the skirt. When it's sewed, you flip it up, and that will give you a channel. And you can use cording, elastic, or ribbon to close. Before I attach my skirt together, I think it's going to be easier to put the snaps on if it's laid flat like this. So the snaps I'm using are these really light pink ones and then I have my snap cheapers. You need some oil. I don't know what this is called. My snap apparatus. So I'm gonna go around and do that for the bottom layer and then I'm going to attach my skirt together. I'm going to put my ribbon in for my waistband and then we'll have the reveal. <laughs>
especially since it's mosquito netting that I got at a thrift store for just over $3. And this petticoat can be changed into almost four or five different ways. I definitely think I'm on the right track. It's almost like I made a mock-up of the skirt because it is mosquito netting. And I think tool or other material that would normally be used for this type of petticoat is coarser. And so when you layer it together or stack it, it will give it more floof where this mosquito netting is softer and not as coarse. So I think it lays a little bit more flat, but it still gave the shape I was kind of looking for. It gave that extra volume. I didn't want a lot, so it kind of did exactly what I wanted it to do. And if I did wear a crinoline underneath the petticoat, that would give it even more volume. So I think, and it's not as coarse as tool. So honestly, on my bare legs, it didn't itch. It didn't really hurt like tool normally does. It was pretty comfortable. So yeah, I'm, I'm just not mad about it. I think my original idea of putting the bottom detachable part laying over top of it to give it a more even shape probably would have been the right way to go. It still works, but I think that would have given it a little bit more volume as well. I could change the snaps and just put them on the top, but honestly, it, it does its purpose. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and I hope you subscribe. If you end up making your own detachable petticoat, if I've inspired you to make something similar, let me know on Instagram. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see if somebody else has their own version of this. I think it's a pretty cool idea of a one skirt fits all. You don't need to have multiple skirts to do the same thing, but for my very first one, I'm super happy with it. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on Friday for my next video. It would be a bride. Oh. You're so cute. You don't like being a little bride? You look like a bride from the 80s. It's not dinner time yet. What do you want? No, I know you keep licking your lips. I said the H word. Hamburger. Hippopotamus. Hello. Are you hungry? Take that as a yes. So I'm not mad about this at all. <laughs> Keep saying that. You detachable part. The detachable part. The detachable part. The detachable. Uh, <laughs> I can't say this word.